And speaking of being offended by everything and anything, we have Elsa Majimbo. Oh my girl. Now, this girl is a TikTok turned internet sensation. We don't even know how she blew up. She started doing her videos on Instagram. They were a bit funny. They were yidi yada, you know. And in Kenya, let's just be honest, the reception of her delivery in Kenya was not taken very nicely because some people thought she was emulating Rono. Oh yeah, she was you know, a, a full yeah, Rono. Rono used to do her bits like that and then Elsa did her bits like that. So people were like, okay, why are you coping Rono? You know, like, what's happening? It's not even that funny. We, we really, let's just be honest, as Kenyans... She was really trash talked, okay? However, her content, her material was well received in South Africa and the rest of the world. Mm. So she blew up. Mm. She was, was she in vogue? She was. All I'm saying is she blew up. Yani, she's, she's a different person now. So much so that she moved out of the country and swore that she will never come back to Kenya again. Even though she's currently vacationing in Kenya, like right now. She just swore, I am done with Kenyans. And then she added the South African flag on her back just basically denouncing Kenya and everyone in it. And then very recently, she debuted her white boyfriend. Yay, the white man. Now listen, anytime Elsa Majimbo would get on a platform where she's being interviewed, she was very quick to, to mention Colorism. colorism, how she received... Um, preferential treatment. No, when it she didn't get preferential exactly. treatment. Exactly. She didn't get, you know, said you know whatever all i'm saying is she really made it a oh, thing about about her, her whole skin cause. color it yeah. was a whole thing and then she turns up with a white man, yeah, the white man. and she doesn't want to be talked to about it she wants to mm. say this is love if you're being if, you, if you're saying anything bad you're a hater you need to stop accept me girl. accept all of this and we're like girl we see that we you, you thought you were doing something girl. what was that anyway she debuted her white okay Apparently, we don't know if well, he's white he's or Arabi. he's a DJ, yeah. and yes, let's just say, say she debuted her an African yes. fia of boyfriend yes. or partner, yes. and all of us were shook because we'd expect a girl who's been an active, um, who's been very vocal about skin color and whatever mm -hmm. would be dating like someone from this region of Juba, Aki, anyway. We won't talk about it because kila mtu akona preference yake. Preference. Sindio? Eh, kama wu unapenda hivi, unapenda hivi, it's up to you. We cannot judge you. Mm -mm. However, she didn't, stop, she didn't stop there. She went on to say, not only am I going to marry outside of my culture, Ooh. but I'm also going to marry outside of my continent. Aye. It's that TikTok um that TikTok bit where uh, I, I can't marry within my race because mm. how am I going to, to explain to my people that uh, I gave birth to my father? You know, those things, things about culture. Anyway, she hopped on it and that is what she said. And then she went on to explain that my kids deserve another passport. I have had to explain to agencies, my manager and everyone, that I actually need visas to go places. And they tell me, you can actually grab it at the airport. You can, you know, get it the next day. You can apply it in a week. And then she goes on to say, um, the money, the opportunities that I've missed hurt inside. It hurts so much. At the end of the day, it's not only my country's fault and I cannot blame them. Um, I do love having a passport that... I do love having my passport, passport. It's the world that's the problem. So basically, she says it all boils, boils down to race. So her getting a, a, bla, a, um, okay, a white man is because she doesn't want her children to experience the things she experienced. You see, she's still playing into it. The things she experienced for having black skin. I mean, how are you going to champion colorism and then straight up do exactly what the world has been doing for millennia? It's, it's just like, and then the way she ends it, it's oh, it boils down to race. So basically, girl, you won't tell us, you won't marry the white man. Mm, you, by the way, we're sounding very racist, but it's, it's we're just painting a picture to you. It's like saying, hey, do you know what? I will never get married to a Kikuyu man. Why? Because they really like money. And then you end up going the other way of marrying a Kikuyu man who's a little of the Nairobi descent. Why? It just makes no sense. By the way, just so you see, that is Liam on the screen. Say hi, Liam. Hi. Wave to the camera. Say Wave hi. to the camera. 
Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> that is Liam. That is Turi Faye's beautiful young baby boy. And as we continue with the conversation, because he's feeling very shy right now. <laughs> Look, Elsa Majimbo has championed colorism, and that has been her bandwagon for a long time. Now, she goes up and starts dating a guy who does not look very... Of the Caucasic community. Mm -hmm. Or at least of the Caucasic skin tone. We're not too sure which part of the of the internet and the region of, of the world he's from. We just don't know. But at the end of the day, look, it's kind of... It's, 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 it's watering down your cause. If you're going to be vocal about something, and I know we don't want to do this thing where we die by the sword simply because you fell in love. Love is love at the end of the day. We have nothing wrong with that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you loving someone. But also change your tune. Be the change that you want to see as opposed to being a hypocrite, which is basically what she's doing. And it's true. The passport that you have really does influence where you go and how you live your life. But every time you're over there, guess what? You're still black. That's it. That's it. Always remember, it doesn't matter whether you live in the middle of England or in the middle of Saudi Arabia. You're still black. You're still going to get punished for being black. The end. That's just my two cents. Let us know what your thoughts are. Do you think we're going too heavy on Elsa Majimbo? Do you think she just she's a young girl and she needs to, to live like a young girl and continue living like a young girl? Or do you think eh, she's being a bit of a hypocrite? Let us know. 0770-729-3. Sigiste. Sigiste.